Instagram and Anthony Fornio Snapchat also, and and, and Anthony Fornio Twitter. Yeah, and I, I be on all of them too. All of them? Yeah, I be on all of them too. How's it been, man? It's been good, man. It's same been good. old shit. Same old shit, man. Different toilet or the same one? Little different toilet. Little different toilet. You know, I'm trying to find a house with more than one toilet. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, that's essential, man. I, I, I need to get into that. I want a, I want a uh, bathroom in a basement. Yes. They, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I want niggas to be able to come through the side door. You don't even need to go upstairs. Right, right. Yeah, it's right. tight. Who the hell are you, man? I guess he's talking to me. Hollow, you all know that, though. Yeah, that's every time. It's Hollow. Giant and Gent. Uh, and I won't tell you where to find me because uh, we're doing it up front right now. Johnny Hollow Jr. on Facebook. Rural Scholar 19, everywhere else. Check me out, look for me. I'm, uh, I'm out there. Is this like real life wax though? Is yeah, it's real candle wax because if you go to the spot, you, you can, if you're an ambassador, it's free to sign up. You can dip your own bottle in the wax after and you let it dry. Yeah, you yeah. gotta So you got to drive to Kentucky. Loretta, Kentucky. Let's go yeah. to Kentucky though. I don't really know about Kentucky, man. Like, <laughs> don't the south. When I drove, don't I, the south man, when I drove down to Tennessee, bro, that was not. Oh, by the way, that was Maker's Mark that I was looking at and going in. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Nectar of the Gods. Yeah, like when I was driving down to Tennessee, man, I don't know. It's kind of spooky, <laughs> man. Like, I knew I was there when I got out and went to the gas station, here. and they was like, I mean, I help you. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> As long as they don't ask you if you want. We're going to have Marcella hanging tonight. Uh, <laughs> I, I swear she spits tobacco into a cup behind the counter, man, at the gas station. Man, I help you. I'm like, oh God damn. God. You ever get this gas and get the fuck up out of here, man. You got to embrace other places, man. I know y'all don't sell no nigger pies here. <laughs> but it be like, for, for hold on, wait a minute. Embrace something like, all right, so what, what, do, what do Europe got? What do you mean? Besides sightseeing and shit, what's like, what's their resource? I don't know. I don't know. Stolen fucking antiquities. Arts and fucking, yeah, that's uh, about it, bro. They ain't got shit there. Uh, that's why Africans should just let them niggas stay up there and just we be miserable and shit. Let's civilize them. You know the only reason they went, came to America because they fucked Europe up. Listen, they got a bunch that's of stuff. That's why they build that spaceship and they about to. Crying. You see that shit? They building a ship that's about to be like orbiting the air. It's a hotel and shit. You pay like oh, nine million dollars okay. for two weeks, nigga. They about to leave us down here like Elysium, bro. Yes, yes that's why I, I gotta get this. That's why I gotta get this shit popping, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't sitting on my ass waiting. I'm doing extra shit. I mean, I work and do some other. I gotta get listen. Cause yeah. I right, look, look. They gonna leave us down here, man. If your if your hands if your hand ain't covered, you can't go. Right. Just like Elysium, bro. They're gonna be up there curing shit. They're gonna be giving out the cures and shit up there. This one big machine. Cause ain't nobody gonna come back. Ain't nobody in their right mind gonna come back after they go up there. And they gonna go up there and fuck that shit up. They fuck up everything, man. Guess we'll see. Niggas, it was snowing today. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, like morning. full life just yeah, full blown just, just snow. It was a it's like tornado in four cities in a while this week like really yeah like what's that it's like uh shit i can't remember it's like by uh Tuscarawas. it's by uh Tuscarawas. yeah that one it's by columbus it's by columbus like, they had like roofs 
Smoke like detached from the house and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. it's cold, cold, cold and hot air, cold and hot winds. It's bad. the tornado. Yeah, yeah. And that night, I think it was what Tuesday or Wednesday. That shit was waking me up. That shit was loud as hell. The wind. Hell but yeah. I do remember, like it was like oh three oh four. It snowed in May. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It's kind of. But it, this is like, but it's only been fucked. It been, it been like my childhood. It snowed normally, like how it was supposed to all the time. It's only been the past like maybe, you, maybe somebody could say close to a decade that it's just been tweaky. Like it's been. Yeah, it's that been one February it was 80 degrees yeah, in February that one time. Yeah, you know? I remember that. Yeah, I was nuts. And all the animals dying, so you can't really argue with that shit. But yeah, man, like I said before, man, you better get on that shit, get out here and get you something, man, because, yeah. man, listen, dog, because, like, own something, like, that's what I'm talking about, whether it's a house, uh, something, own something, nigga, like, Get you some land. Because, nigga, they about to leave us down here, speaking of, you know, working on our, uh, us, well, ourselves and shit. I jumped right into that. Let's get into this guy, this Tennessee clerk, who fatally shot this this little kid. Is it? That is like a little girl's hopper or something, man. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sheesh. So, a store clerk in Tennessee has been charged with fatally shooting a 17 year old who allegedly stole a beer from his convenience store. Anwar Ghazali, I don't know, I'm about to murder the name. Gazap, Gaz, Gazali? Yeah. Gay. Gazali? A, a clerk. I fucked your name up on purpose. Right. You know what I'm saying? A clerk at a shop on Springdale Street, Memphis, chased Dorian Harris after he walked away from the store with a beer Thursday night. A fucking beer, man. Gazali, uh, Gazali Lee, called up to Harris and fired several shots at him. He never called the cops, according to the report. I think I shot him, he reportedly told a witness. Harris' body was found next to Sarah Patton's home two days later. She told. W R E G T V. She didn't know about the body. Well, he didn't know about the body until authorities informed her Saturday. Yeah, he looked like a quick. He looked. I ain't gonna even use that. He just looked. He just looked corny. Yeah, he shit, looked corny man. as hell. Yeah. He corny, corny. He looked like the motherfuckers that be in the fucking stores. Like he was, yeah, yeah, he wanted to be. At That's a sad old wanna... story. Dad gave me that one. Here, you can have this one. Oh. Take all their money. Shoot them if they steal a bag of chips. Yeah, because um, uh, and when Rouches first opened up in like the '60s, okay. down in the V, dude chopped the young young brother's hand off for stealing like he was trying to steal like some cookies or something. You know what I'm saying? You but, ain't even but, but, but you know they right. helped with the slave shit too. Like, they, yes, they keep yes, going like no yes. that nigga. That's why they, they be yes. in the store all happy, shoe shining and shit. It's a pecking order, nigga. That's why they out there like that. That's nigga. why they got a problem with white folks because they just got jerked out of that uh, whole community. Out of that whole world. shit. They yeah. got yeah. looted Egypt. They ain't they even hit up Egypt. like they supposed to. Yes, yes. Uh, they are jerked. on the wall though today. This is a one hitter series by Lagunitas. Uh, Pointing that out. Uh -huh. Waldo's. Yeah, man. So also with this, he used to like be working in the fucking store. Yeah, shit, he knew this nigga. Like, yeah, he, he yeah, knew he you was. knew who he was, man. You knew this you nigga. You just wanted to, you just wanted to shoot a young black man. Yeah, man. let me get this off real quick. Well, then, you yeah, ain't even people aspire to be George Zimmerman, man. Fuck that dude. He ain't called a police or nothing, man. Yeah, you shot him Thursday and then Saturday you admit to shooting him. You know what I'm saying? You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, man. They should burn that whole fucking store down, like fucking uh, do the right thing. Nah, them niggas is gonna keep going yeah, to the man. fucking store. Get in fucking Arizona. Like, goddamn, I say this in, in name of Dorian Harris, nigga. I ain't going to no corner store no more. Right. Ain't nothing I need right. out of there. Like, right. now, look, I can't, well, I can't help but go to the gas station. It's a corporation. Unless one of you niggas wanna get together and pool the money together and buy a fucking store so we can shop at your store. Instead of going to their store, look, let's all just not go to their stores no more. They're yes. gonna have to leave. Yes. They're gonna have to bounce, nigga. Yes. They're gonna have to fuck. But guess what, nigga? They're not gonna have to bounce because they all just bouncing from drive through the store. They eating out here, bro. All their money come from you, nigga. You pay all of their shit. Do you? I be going to the store, they be like having all the jewelry on. They got the Hummers outside and shit. They go down the stun on y'all, like. Like, shit, the nigga at Byright used to pull up in a Lambo from time to time, bro. 
Them motherfuckers ain't broke, nigga. Oh, no, I never said they, they got some money, bro. Shit, that gas station on the corner, like, uh, on the corner of the Valero. Used to be Valero and shit. Yeah. That old motherfucker be in there with the money. You see they building on, adding on. That marathon right there by the car wash spot up the street from Church's Chicken, that marathon was just a little corny-ass marathon at first. Yeah. That nigga expanded that shit, made that shit huge, cause he made all of his money off of us. The motherfuckers do not fuck with you, like, like period. Yeah, you be in the store, like, well, you think the joke hurry up and buy it, and all that shit come from, nigga. They want you out of that fucking store. Give me your money still and get the, fuck get, the, out get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna drive back to my white neighborhood and kiss my wife. One of them, cause I got like eight different houses with a wife in each one, cause y'all niggas spend that much money at my fucking store. Think about it, you go to that store and buy bullshit every day. Especially the Swishers where you ain't gonna do shit but empty that shit out. And you pay a dollar for a two pack. Some of y'all niggas is buying a three or four pack with the good times and shit. Y'all just really just slumming it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen niggas that be talking about they got the bag smoking good times. It be crazy, like, bruh. But they're a really good time. I kinda uh, felt, I kinda, really man, I kinda felt this nigga like, so, this like, when I had first met London and shit, I was like, like, younger and shit, and niggas like talking about, he like, with, he like, I, it, well, he wasn't talking to me, he was talking to a nigga I know, and he was like, so, wait a minute, you like, buy name brand shoes, but you eat off brand food, and yeah. I was like, yeah. wow, I mean, I don't, I mean, I get it. It's, it's hilarious though, cause the nigga has spend more money on some shit that's like superficial. You don't need you, but you won't spend money on shit that you do need and shit. That shit weird as hell. Like it depends on what it is, because my my lady was trying to roast all these, and I'm like, all these might nah, have all these might have brands that. that you don't know, but just that's organic food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That food made by Nestle and fucking. Wonder Bread, that's poison. Yeah, man. that's what's funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. poison. So it's, yeah, I yeah, feel that's what, what you're I'm saying. saying. Yeah. yeah, I feel what you're saying, but you know what I'm saying? It's to a certain extent. All right, right? so like Brazil nuts cost like eleven ninety nine a pound. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? But they good as hell for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But niggas ain't going to drop that eleven ninety nine a pound. Like, they just going to get some planters, peanuts that's hot, that's grown in water. High fructose corn syrup. Yes, it's soy peanuts involved. Ain't even really like, a lot of almonds and peanuts is soy involved. How yeah. the fuck is there soy involved with a fucking nut? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should just pick that let it go. <laughs> like the fucking, the fucking almonds is fucked up because the bees is fucked up. Like, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So the almonds, they like... They making fake almonds at this artificial almonds. They making fake point. everything. They making fake everything, bro. Good lord. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Fake people. They, they got a fake. They got a fake. They got a fake, 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 fake meat factory that they were working on making like fake meat and shit. Like, you know what yeah. I'm Y'all don't care though. I'm vegan, but I ain't. I ain't. Oh, you mean that's supposed to be like real steak, but yeah. it's synthetic? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's hilarious. Man. But nah though, man, we really gotta get them out the hood though, bro. Like yeah. just think yeah. of just don't go there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand a lot of y'all live in food deserts and that's the only place y'all go get food from, like right? and I would never that's buy terrible. food from there, like. Ever. Like niggas be buying chicken from that gas station at the bottom of the hill on uh what's that, is that guy? Yes, like, yes. Cargo Street and Memorial Talmadge. Memorial Park. Memorial Park, Park yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas be buying that well, up the hill is Talmadge. Shit, this shit slap. Oh, nigga, your stomach God. about to be fucked, nigga. The chicken should be extinct at this point. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Day. Ever since I was born, you could buy a butt. A, a chicken only has two wings. You could buy a bucket of 40 wings since I've been born. On well, they be street. having that shit. Over like top like they had chicken born to form, they don't give a fuck, get it up through the line. What are you this doing? Chicken has sixteen wings. Nigga, they <laughs> look, regurgitates blue cheese all They can over. sell a nigga anything, nigga, because a nigga, a nigga you would eat intestines, nigga. You can tell a nigga that uh, something else from a motherfucker's body is like a new noodle they develop and nigga just gonna eat that shit. Noodles. Just like the supplements and the different shit. Be like, Here, take this. Be like, this, oh, oh, this is good for me? You don't know what the hell that shit is. You ain't looking at ingredients or nothing. They know you ain't gonna do nothing. Your black ass don't read anyway. That's why the old saying goes, you wanna keep something from a nigga, put it in the book. Cause you niggas don't be reading shit. You niggas don't even read the disclaimers to know nothing. Like, 
<laughs> and then be wondering when you go argue with the motherfucker at the store when they point at you, they be like, you know I ain't read that shit. Like, you're wrong. You gotta leave now. Get what you sign that for, bro? <laughs> like, quit signing your oh life away out God. here, man. It's so much shit I didn't sign on the dotted line before without reading that shit. Never again. Yeah, I don't do that shit. Never again. That's why that Facebook shit, I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm not putting this shit on that my shit fucking shit, phone. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not putting this shit on my phone. You want. You want. You want to have all my contacts, messages, photos. You want all of this information? Yeah. Me? I'm not doing that. Will shit. you allow us to? Oh. No. Yeah. Like I'm talking about. They keep everything. They got every. Yeah. Like a nigga yeah, can everything. get sunk. Like if your girl go to your Facebook and download <laughs> your data, you're no, done. <laughs> they got everything. Everything you ever oh did from your phone God. is on there, bro. With the you ain't dates. even gotta like her pic. She know. No. She knows you went No, to. I'm talking about whatever you. Every text message, phone call, it can tell you everything you've ever done yeah. on your phone. I ain't talking about on Facebook. I'm talking Just about everything on your phone. Like if you called your me yesterday, history. yeah, your phone history. Period. Whether you deleted it or not, it's all in your Facebook data. That's why people. Pissed. And they said that shit just went up to like $87 million. I mean, 87 million people that that shit didn't happen to. Like, it was at 50 like a couple weeks ago. It's at 87 now. Like, the, the number keeps growing. They're just breaching data, bro. Person crazy. Yeah, bro. Facebook is. Facebook is. Oh my God, it's, it's terrible. The devil, man. It's the ultimate creator need. And you know what I'm saying? Only reason I really keep it. Is to stay in touch with family members that change they that's out of state, change their number all the time, moving all the time. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for that, I would not have Facebook. I don't know, man. And Facebook, to remember people's birthdays. Not to not to try to take away from you know what we were just talking about, which is like get them a fuck up out of our community, man, because they corny as fuck. Like, but. Facebook is terrible, man. Like, yeah, it's, it's like meant to start shit. Yeah, it's, it's be like it's set up to start shit. Motherfuckers get on that bitch and just be like, you just said that. Like again, it's because all the TV shows, my opinion, are uh, reality yeah, shows, right. and let's look at these people's lives. Yeah. And so, why am I not as important as Stevie J or? Or what's her name, or whoever? Why am I? Cause, cause I, I do the same shit they do, which is nothing. So why am I not as important? I got a platform. It's Facebook. I'm gonna get live on Facebook. I don't see so many people going live. I'm about to go to sleep, lay here. Whatever. What do you? What do you? What do you they need that shit. What? The that's wrong with you. And it's that's just saying me is teaching us to a. Uh, I am. I'm like, I hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's hey, what hey. it is. That's me. Take it, taking the pictures of you laying in bed just mean you want somebody to text you or inbox you. And if it's the right person, they can come get butt cheeks that night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? you just mm -hmm. mad and furious because this nigga ain't inboxing you and everybody else inboxing you. And quit telling us you're in a relationship. We don't give a fuck, the man. Fuck I'm crying. All you doing is giving, you doing is giving the day a start. the other person so, needs the... the, 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 the. <laughs> All you doing is showing us the day it started, you so it can be recorded the day it. Cause you gonna, it's gonna be like I'm out. I said something. Did got you out get of, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cried. Yeah. Tell and, you and, and, and they be like, had like, okay, uh, shit. lost who I was for a second. Time to get back out here and be a savage. Right. Like, <laughs> Oh, you ain't uploading pictures of this nigga all the time. No, oh more. My God. no more pictures of this nigga sleep. I told you, the one girl, I should have put it on here. And shit. I think I still got <laughs> Don't take shit. pictures of his sleep and put it on the book. Nah, oh like, she was acting like she was sleep. She, sleep was, on the book. she was acting like she was sleep too. Like, she was like laid there and the we nigga sleep? was laying too. Yeah. And she had took we a picture sleep. like like moments like this or some shit. I'm like, hold on, wait, both of y'all asleep? Who took the fucking picture? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, but on a, on a comment, I comment, you talented. Yeah, you and hit your shoulder. She was like, what that mean? I'm like, you took a picture while you were asleep? Like, you took a picture of yourself while you were asleep? Like, you talented. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get the fuck off my side, nigga. Yeah. Unless you got some boat leg. Oh, oh, my God. God. Yeah. Like, yeah. the nuggets, man. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, yeah. and the nuggets ain't really chicken. 
Fuck you, get the fuck off my goddamn face, man. Mm-hmm. With that last shit. What the fuck are you doing, guys? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah she so, wanted some nuggets. Yeah, so he commented on somebody's stat. Oh, some nuggets. He let her know it's a nuggets. Get the fuck off my stat, nigga. <laughs> you about to bring me some Chipotle. Fuck. <laughs> Extra spin. Oh, my God. Hey, I think Chipotle could, like, it's crazy that, like, man, like, you could really get the job done with Chipotle, yeah, you man. Can. You, you can't know what I'm saying? You can't have that salty ass bottle. You could be like, hey, yeah, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You could talk like Don't this. Don't buy blood out of you can talk like this, and then you be like, hey, ah, ah, I uh, just got that. Where you at? I'm about to bring you some Chipotle. Like blood she be like, and acids? Uh, all right, then you get over there by the area, and you ain't got the Chipotle yet, and when well, you got the Chipotle, and she stopped answering the phone, and I be like, bitch, I got the Chipotle. 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 Oh, my God. And she's in the box and she's texting all of us. Hey, 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 I'm cool. She tell you to come through she's and never cool. give you the number. She's still in the box. God, she was on she, Her phone either off and she's using her neighbor's Wi-Fi or... <laughs> you just don't need to go, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, for real, bro. You need a lot of Chipotle tonight, dog. Bitch, I got some Chipotle. Bitch, I got some Chipotle. But yeah, blood avocados are real. Cartels are, are uh, muscling them small time farmers, and if they don't produce enough. Blood and avocado. Blood and avocado. Blood diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood and avocados. This world is fucked up. I'll fucking cry. Oh, yeah. The world avocados ain't even happening. The US is fucked up, nigga. Bro, I've been doing my. I've been re educating myself on US history, nigga. Oh, nigga. Sheesh. These niggas. Up, I right? still, man, I still like Obama, but he's fucked up too. He was fucking oh up, nigga. Oh my god. That nigga was fucking up, man. Oh my god. Uh, that whole slave shit over in Libya, that nigga was up. Oh man, I don't see how that got off. He a reason why that shit happening for real. Like, well, he ain't do what he should have did. He worried about uh, the LGBT community so much. Like, I mean, I'm not mad at y'all, but goddamn, like, y'all wasn't. <laughs> Come on now. Y'all wasn't slaves. It's like that Atlanta yeah. episode, bro. When Y'all wasn't killed trying to vote. It was, like, it was like that Atlanta episode where Paperboy is on that uh, toy show. Mon- Montague and shit. Montague. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that white lady was like, gay people had the same struggle as you. Like, man, gay no. You can turn that gay on and off, man. It was never a I church can't turn this shit post. off, man. Bomb. I can't turn this shit off, man. Right, you can right. walk straight or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know what the literal terms of that shit is, but, man, we are not alike, There's man. married guys that talk with that accent, you know what I'm saying? So you can't, if they got the accent, you can't just say that that, that guy's homosexual. That'd be a motherfucker's you know number one excuse for Michael Jackson. They'd be like, he was married. He had kids. Oh, they cried. He was married, though. <laughs> <laughs> she was married, though. The Presley's daughter. Man, them ain't even his kids, man. They yeah. all white as shit, Yeah, the one, man. the one, the one got Macaulay Culkin's DNA, and I'm fucking. Unless uh, what? Unless yes, the, one of them got Macaulay Culkin's DNA, it ain't blank, and I will probably pillow blank. That's why they gave blank in the black. They dyed blank his hair black. They tried to make Blanket extra pale and dye his hair black. Like, look, he looks like Michael Jackson. Like, like the re Villaligo transfer. He look like that. Like the Villaligo transfer over the Blanket. Oh, Blanket. <laughs> he is hanging yeah. that nigga out windows and shit. Oh, I still didn't want to read the, in, that uh, Quincy Jones interview in this entire oh, I, I, oh, I started like, reading been, it. Niggas been getting fucked on and oh. shit. Oh. He was named the actors they used to set it for. Uh, Marlon Brando used to fuck on. Uh, oh, Marlon Brando used to fuck on uh, Richard, Pryor. Richard Pryor, Marvin Gaye, and James Baldwin. I could see James Baldwin because he was James openly Baldwin gay. James Baldwin's a good man. He was a, yeah, he was openly gay. But he's a good dude. Yeah. Richard, yeah, Richard, Pryor, yeah, Richard Pryor, Richard yeah, Richard Pryor, he did, he did, he did Pryor. use his gay. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't judge y'all. 
Just not into it myself. Real man. quick, let's hop off into Tim Cunningham, man. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. So how y'all feel about Tim Cunningham? Let me explain Tim Cunningham. Tim Cunningham worked for the CDC. Nigga used to come up with like figuring out epidemics. He was an epidemiologist. Epidemiologist? Epidemiologist. Epidemiologist. E epidemiologist. Epidemiologist. I don't think it's an so old. I say it both ways. I think so. It is. It's an O in there? Okay. Yeah, sure. Man, how long is right up? It is epidemiologist. I tried to freestyle it. But he was he was at the CDC. The CDC so is the Centers for Disease and Control. So he was like working on shit, trying to see like what's called epidemics of, you know, diseases and health causes for people. And like he was doing that for like minorities, like black people and shit for sure. And the nigga just turned up missing. Miami. February 12th, and they just found his body like yesterday. So, the thing is, like, you know, what do y'all think happened with that shit, man? Like, I mean, he, I, I, I do, it might not, I, he found something out. It might not have been the flu vaccine uh, correlating with autism, and you know what I'm saying? He found something out. But my thing is, he found something out found in their body. They found a nigga, and then. They had his autopsy results immediately, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it was too neat. Yeah, it's too, it's uh, too perfect. Because he had on his favorite running shoes. Yeah, yeah, and rocks. Right and, they said he had some rocks in his pocket, like he liked rocks or something. Yeah, he liked, yeah, he liked, yeah, liked, liked geodes and shit. No, I'm just saying, he liked, he liked, he liked like that. rocks. Yeah. He told his neighbor to lose his number. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, they, 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 they said he didn't get. Shoved his geo straight up, <laughs> They said that he didn't get like a promotion or some shit. Yeah. And did the CDC say he did get a promotion? They said he did in July. Yeah. But they said more recently he supposed to be like, I guess That's he because they made it. That's why I don't know. think we're as racist. He found something out. Listen, here's my thing. Find I out. hate being a found I hate well, the, uh, it, it was a conspiracy theory about the flu shot shit and the uh, vaccines and shit. I don't got no like, exact proof to it, but no like, they say he was like looking into that shit and they was like, yeah, nah, nigga. You know, they need your black ass to die, bro. They need everybody to die, but they really need your black ass to die. Yeah. I mean, it ain't by coincidence all of this shit happened. Like, One of the main. You go, uh, yeah. you go look at just U.S. history, it's all about like, like so. The 1804 shit, the revolution, the Haiti and shit. You know about that shit? L little bit. So it's like a the French bit. Revolution. The yeah. French tried to blow down on Haiti and was like, yeah, nigga, y'all about to be slaves and shit. And them Haitian niggas was like, man, no, the fuck we not. We about to kill all you motherfuckers. And they did. <laughs> yeah. And guess what Britain made them niggas do? Pay reparations to them French motherfuckers. $150 million worth of gold, nigga. Back in 1804 and then the 1800s, nigga. You know how much money that is? That's generational, nigga. Hundred and fifty billion dollars, bro. Like back then, bro. Yeah, that's in the trillion. So that's why Haiti is fucked up the way it's fucked up. That's just why the reason they don't like Cuba is because Castro was on some shit when he, Batista used to work with the CIA. So when Batista worked with the CIA, nigga, America, America was doing whatever. Not Dave, not. Yeah, Dave. yeah, not not homie from uh fucking <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Not uh, you ugly. What he said, there, man. Like, you, uh, you are hideous. Yeah, yeah you are hideous. I fucking cry, uh, man. All right, man. All right. Like so, yeah, like yeah. So with the Batista shit, like he was letting America just butt fuck Cuba and shit. They ain't care because America was getting the cigars. They getting all the resources from Cuba. And that nigga was like, yeah, y'all a little too heavy down here. So he uh, Castro overthrew Batista. And got Batista the fuck up out of here and was like, yeah, matter of fact, we gonna, the poor people ain't about to be treated just however no more. We about to lower the fucking cost of rent and everything out here. We gonna make this shit even all the way across. America was like, oh, hell no, this nigga fucking up business and shit. So they was trying to assassinate that nigga. Not bring him to jail. Not none of that. That nigga came, they got mad because this nigga, yeah. they got mad because this nigga came to America to go to a UN meeting. And tried to meet up with, I believe it was Lyndon B. Johnson. He tried to meet up with Lyndon B. Johnson, and Lyndon B. Johnson wouldn't meet with him and shit. So that nigga went to Harlem to go be with the niggas, and they was mad as fuck about that shit. Like, he talking said the whole shit about him. Down there. It was yeah, kind of, like. Because we can defeat shit. Then why everybody he, knows that we can well, no, defeat like, shit. Well, no, like, Castro had a thing about, like, helping oppressed people. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, why he's over but in, we have our numbers and our money. 
We can defeat yeah, we can. shit. Yeah, we can. We just don't know how to stick to it. We ain't got the discipline. Motherfuckers know. Well, niggas don't well, believe, to... bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? White is right, my nigga. It is people that think that way. Like oh, how y'all, right. how y'all are? It's 2018, and y'all truly believe that. That's why niggas just be so outrage. content with just like, as long as they good, then yeah. they feel like it, it's all good. And you not even good. I just broke down the retirement shit to him earlier because I was, I've been going through that shit. Like nigga think he got 1.5 million dollars in retirement put to the side. It's not a lot of money, nigga. You don't work no more. You don't bring in no more income. So what be happening to old people is they retire, they look up and they like 69 and the money gone. That's why a lot of moms and granddads, grandmas be having to move in with people because the money gone. Like, grandma had a great job, this, that, and the third, end up losing the house, not making the payments, all of that, because the money keeps it was too. We were just talking about just like how it's important to just like, like you gotta have some shit, man. Cause yeah. that, like that's like America, the, the the kings are taking shit away from you, bro. If you don't do what they tell you to do, like that's what happened to Cuba. When Cuba did that shit, and Castro wouldn't do what they wanted him to do, they cut off all trade with that nigga. But before they did, they made sure they ordered all the fucking Cuban cigars that was available before they shut it down, bro. Like hilarious, man. John Kennedy did that was high ass. He was high his whole pregnancy, bro. The whole pregnancy. Yeah, all off pills. His whole pregnancy. Damn, Look man. that shit up, bro. He was high as hell. They said. Yeah, like yeah. How could you get touched like that? Well, I mean, he was driving on the goddamn street. No, what, pre what president did that? The reason that? why he got murked is karma, though, nigga, because he was trying to get dude to say he was sending CIA agents. He sent Castro's he girlfriend sent down there to try to go. Yeah. yeah, he sent everybody to try to go kill that nigga, bro. So you try to kill somebody, you better be on your toes. Hoover might have did that. What? JFK. Hoover might have bodied uh, JFK. JFK. Well, JFK. I mean, JFK was doing some fucked up shit though. Like you cut down the country's whole trade and shit because they don't want to do what you're doing. Why are you trying to control them? Right, right. Leave them the fuck alone. That's what y'all tell us when y'all trying to get elected. I think we should let a country handle it on their own. No, you don't. You want something. You ain't got yeah. shit here. Right. But food, drugs, and guns, motherfucker. That's why you feed us fucked up food, so we need your drugs. We get high, buy your guns, and then go shoot people. That's how that works. That was hilarious. What? That whole little pathway. That's how that worked, though. But yeah, I don't know. I think that shit real with this Tim Cunningham shit. I think something happened. I don't yeah. think it's nothing. He found he found something out. Yeah, he 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 was in too big of a position for, for, him, for him to face. just die. And you what? You drowned? He's a strong swimmer. You drowned and what? I think physically, He's a strong as, swimmer, bro. I think if you were to do yourself and you was a strong swimmer, your body will automatically be like, I'm, yes. I'm not going to survive. I'm not going to drown. I'm not going to just drown. That's a weird way to go. You know how uh, to tread water. Yeah. You been suicidal before? Right. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. He I'm I'm never, I've never, I've never been, been like suicidal. Weird thing to do. But I, 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 don't, I don't buy none of that. I hate being a conspiracy theorist. I, I hate, love being a conspiracy I, theorist. I, you love, I hate being like, a conspiracy what theorist. Like, but, fuck his cousin or something, he just couldn't deal with it no more. All right, do it a different way. You're still good. You're a good swimmer. Your body is good. It's trying to save and, itself. And, and suicide got men like going out quick. Yeah. It's yeah, women that drive. like drunk, going slow and painful. You know what I'm saying? Women be in the tub with the They just be hanging themselves. Cause it's your snap your neck quick. Nah, it's supposed time. to snap your neck. Nah, dude, was hanging, dude was hanging for a minute. What's his name? Uh, Kill Bill. No. So ashamed, dude. It's just great. at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole other story. Oh, Chris. Oh, Carey, yeah, yeah, Carey. Self asphyxiation. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's uh, he's trying but to. But men usually go out quick. Nah, what's the name? Men usually jump off shit. What's the name? So ashamed. He's working at the grocery store. Couldn't take it no more, man. Oh, uh, uh, Deuce's character, Morgan Freeman's character. No, no, before him, the old white man, they got like Deuce was here, or whatever. Sores, whatever. Sure. whatever. I, don't know. I don't know what's. I'm just can I. I, well, I, I, was, I wasn't thrilled with that movie, so I, I vaguely know what y'all talking about. I know the uh, big what, parts because of the movie. it ain't no rape or. It, it was just like it was just an overrated movie. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, don't like Tim, I don't like Tim Robbins' face though. It annoys me. 
What Black. movies have I seen with it? I've never seen Deliverance. I've never seen American Me. Lockdown. The player? I've seen <laughs> <laughs> no. What's wrong with it? I've What's seen Lockdown. I've seen Shawshank. I'm trying to think who got the ass took from him, though. You seen American History X? He got, yeah, he got ass he raped, got, too. Yeah, American History X. He got yanked. It is a good movie, but it's 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 the white power movie. Stop that still. nigga's god on the curb. They only, white, white, white pop, we are not neo-Nazis and clam motherfuckers. They only watch half the movie. They tried to make him look beastful. Oh, my God, when he curb stomped the Stomping, yeah. He, he curb stomped the copper slam. He curb stomped the copper slam. You're so this fucking is crazy, tough. crazy, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Still got it out. <laughs> but I think that's the only... Yeah, it's that dad. It's that dad. No, his dad was teaching him that shit, wasn't he? Yeah, remember he used to be at the table? Like, they used to be eating. Yeah, yeah. He was on it. Yeah. It's weird. So I think they killed that nigga, bro. You you know, when you be knowing too much, they kill you. Yes, like Dr. Sebi, yes. You are in the government. Yes, Dr. Sebi. Yes, Sebi, Sebi, whatever. They kill. His, his wife and kids might have killed him. Oh, uh, why? Because was on, he was on the brink of a billion dollar industry. I seen a picture of a nigga that had used, like, the food, the hair shit, and that shit had, like, a whole bunch of scabs on his <laughs> Oh, what? Well, yeah, motherfuckers might be fucking with their products, man. I'm fucking crying, dog. I'm fucking crying. He said, that, I mean, he said, that I mean, might he, be. He said, I've been using this shit for two weeks. And this shit happened in my head, and nigga. I fuck with his wife's I products. His it. wife's products. <laughs> his, his, yeah, his wife's products is tight. You know what I'm saying? Don't use that hair shit. Yeah, don't man. use the hair follicle from him. Oh my god. And it, it, it might be just bullshit because his wife don't want people buying his products no more. His ex-wife. What? Both his ex-wives oh, and all right. his daughters, he took them all to court. They was trying to get trying copyright. To get they was trying to copyright the recipes, go behind his back and form their own shit, which they did, but he took them to court. And um Damn, it's gonna be a task to find that man. That nigga was like, I put this shit in my head. <laughs> I think I saw the pictures. He was light skinned, wasn't he? Um maybe like maybe like uh here it go right here, this nigga man. Oh this nigga, my man. god. This nigga right here, man. Look at that shit on that nigga's head, man. I'm fucking die. Like, that's gonna be on the screen. I'm gonna put that right here, man. That nigga got like, he got he like that. He got lizard, ain't man, nigga. Up. It ain't fuck him <laughs> up like that. It ain't fuck him <laughs> up like that. Impossible. <gasps> oh my that is god. That's hilarious, dog. That's terrible. That nigga's head was like reptilian, dog. I'm fucking crying. You see but that one shit, thing, dog? with that green food plus that's supposed to help you fast, that shit actually made me hungrier. What you talking about? Green Food Plus is his, uh, he's talking green. about way on his speeches. Yeah. And use the Green Food Plus, you'll be full, you'll feel full, and have plenty of energy. Well, you know, you're going to be hungry at first because your stomach that is That shit made like, me hungry. Yeah, you got to fight through that shit, bro. That's like that, like, some of us. I, it was easier. I did, I tried, I went what, three days. Yeah, I went three days. Fasting? Yes, yeah, so I went three days without it. And then when it came, I'm like, okay, I ate something already. I took that shit, I was hungry as shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, some days I wake up and just don't eat shit, just drink water. And skinny guys do that, and you go to sleep hungry too sometimes. Like, you go to sleep on an empty stomach, you don't be hungry. Yeah. But you don't really be eating dinner all like that. Well, no, I mean, you're supposed to, like, fast, because it, like, it's supposed to, like, help clean out your body yeah. and shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Niggas think fasting is like unfathomable. Like niggas be like, I ain't poor. I ain't broke as hell. Niggas be so mad about that meat shit. I be like, bro, just try one day some meat shit. I give you a recipe, you go make that shit, you gonna be good, bro. Nigga, you I gotta have some meat. Yeah, I, bet, I bet you do. That's the man. parasites in their stomach. I bet man. you do gotta have. That's some the meat. parasites in their stomach. The parasites in meat eater's stomach. Uh, Control it, it oh, I omnivore, I should say, yeah. yeah omnivore. Omnivores stomachs. <laughs> it, 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 they, they influence your your brain capacity. Cause 
love him dearly, but my barber hates everything about veganism. I tell him, that's the parasites in your stomach. They don't like, they don't even like me being around you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they can sense shit. They get mad. Them motherfuckers, yes, and they got, whenever you say vegan, he say vegan more ferociously than prodigy. Only he under. Only I'll they understand what he's saying. But vegan ain't necessarily good though, because the soy, the tofu, all that shit bad for you. Like, that's, you know, yeah, that that's shit. fake meat. I know people that make banging ass tofu. I can't eat that shit. Dog, say it after I get, I hit you the two spots. But I feel what uh, you're saying. Plants and vegetables, plants and fruits. It's, it's a, it's a plant. And wild rice, that's all I eat is wild rice. It's a plant. I gave up the, I gave up the rice. I'm no, wild rice ain't, wild rice ain't rice. Wild rice, okay. Wild, wild rice, rice is something different. Wild rice hit you different. for the dot, bro. They waxing for the wild yeah, rice. Where you get it at? Where you, where you get it at? Well, they got a head his gigs. Uh, okay. Mark's got a nice little box for like four dollars. Okay. Okay. It take an hour and some change to cook. Cook it. That's that's cool. That's yeah. cool. That's how you know that other rice ain't shit. Right. That should be ready in like ten minutes. I'm trying to get into quinoa. Rice and almonds have arsenic in it. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. bro. I be why I be like I be looking at shit. Like I literally go look up if if I go buy some shit and they don't say like I go buy uh, some coconut oil and that shit say. Coconut oil, Xanthax gum, this, that, yeah. and there. Like, why don't just, just say, why don't right. just say, goddamn, like, I pick up this water, the ingredients should be spring water. Like, you and know what I'm saying? For real, for you omnivores, you, you ain't thinking you want to do, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really interested in plant based diet and all that. Check them General Mills cereals for trisodium phosphate. They were supposed to be taken off the off of the market. Because that shit is fucking poison. And General Mills been putting it in all their cereals for years. You know what I'm saying? If you were if you were to feed your child, if you were to feed your child a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of trisodium phosphate, which you can get at fucking Builder Square, fucking hardware stores, because carpenters and contractors use it. If you were to feed your child a half a teaspoon of that a day, you be you would get the death penalty. General Mills been putting that in their cereals for decades, man. You know a kid can't a lot eat of time, honey. Uh, yes, you know honey, like, honey is B vomit. No, but, I'm just saying, you know, you know a kid can't eat honey until they like two, two years old or some shit. Till two? It, yeah, it's just like your Fuck it, period. Go with maple syrup. Well, they got fiber in it anyway. Nah, maple it's from syrup, a tree. You're supposed, agave. You're supposed to use agave. Oh, what? Agave? Oh, well, if they're not trying to. Yeah. But. I'm going to a pure raw honey, but... Try sodium phosphate. That shit is I just, fucking... He said try it. He said try it. <laughs> no, try sodium. No, try it. Uh, no. Hey, no, no, but... Try sodium phosphate. Have you ever seen Good Hair before? Good Hair? No. Chris Rock, oh, Chris Rock forgot all about that. So, like, look, man. I got to show you that shit one day, bro. So, like, look. The perm, like, got, like, so sodium hydroxide in it. And that shit like eat through the flesh, bro. That shit is all within the perm kit. That's why these bitches' hair won't grow. Because they keep perming it, thinking it's going to help their hair and shit. And it's just destroying your hair follicles. It's getting into your scalp. That's why your hair won't grow, ever grow back. And that shit can make you go blind over a while. It can fuck up your respiratory from you inhaling that shit. It's, it's going into it's, like Just from yes. you inhaling that chemical, nigga. Like, oh it's tweaky, bro. God. And we just, Madam C.J. Walker might be a piece of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? She made her money. You see, they put him up front. You made your money off the fucked upness of your people. Just like Benjamin, just like uh, fucking oh, Booker T. Washington and shit. You're a piece of shit. Like, look, nigga, learn to be a worker good as hell, because that's all you ever be. Right, right. You right. Know what Don't I'm think that that's all you ever be. Do get something as a hustle, but goddamn. So like, if shit was fucked up back then, but so shit, what, don't, 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 don't. There would have been no Frederick Douglass. It could be w, no, it w, could w, be no Booker T. Washington if he felt the same way. Why ain't you going to work, nigga? Oh, fuck it, crap. Oh, you W.E.B. Du Bois was a little shiesty, too. It, it, niggas uh, had to come up. W.E.B. Du Bois used to be on that shit, though. He used to be on his ass. Oh, yeah, they, he, was, they he, was arch rivals. He used to be beefing with that nigga. He had issues with that Yes, nigga, they was arch rivals. You gon' I I you gonna have that within the the uh cause niggas be on some coon and shit, man. Yeah. I'd rather you yeah. like pull a move than be cooning, bro, cause that mean you helping them. Yeah, don't like, don't ever help don't them. Coon. Don't coon, man. Don't help them. Don't coon. So we gonna get into this shit, man, with fucking 
Okay. Yeah. Jennifer and fucking oh, Sarah Hart, man. God. I got a soliloquy to spew out, man. Oh my so the Devontae God. Hart story is one that leaves me wondering. Like, what does it take for children's service to intervene? And by the way, this is fucking like, you want to explain yourself. This you want to explain, explain yourself, yourself? is going to be for fucking children's services and like just people, just period. Like the police, everybody. So, you know, like, what does it really take for children's services to intervene? Like, two separate incidents ended with death here in Cleveland just recently. Like Jennifer and Sarah Hart are the adoptive parents of Devontae and his five siblings, obtaining three of his brothers in 2006 and the rest in 2009. Now, in 2008, police in Minnesota received a call about a six-year-old child who had a bruise on her arm. They responded. They say the child has been constantly going through food issues where the child will steal people's food at school or eat out of garbage cans on the floor, according to a police report. The parents also say they do not know how the bruise got on the child's arm, but the state says the child had fallen downstairs, eight stairs in the house a few days earlier. Now, now listen, I said they got the first group of three kids in 2006, the rest in 2009. That call happened in 2008. Yeah, I didn't mess up, like, you know what I'm saying? I did not get that wrong. I said 2008. How in the hell were these women, after abuse allegations, a year later able to get custody of more children? If that's not enough, in the year 2010, after getting a, all six children in Minnesota, one of the heart children tells in the elementary school the pain in her stomach and back and bruises are discovered in those areas. Areas. Sarah Hart tells the police she spanked the child over the edge of a bathtub because of the child's behavior. She was charged with malicious punishment of a child and misdemeanor domestic assault. How the fuck is she still around here? Nah, nah, Brody, I can keep going. In April 2011, Sarah Hart pleads guilty to misdemeanor domestic assault involving one of the children, and an awful, officials dismissed the malicious punishment of a child of a child charge. They, di they dismissed the fucking charge and gave her community service and one year of probation. In 2014, when he took that picture hugging that nigga, the police officer down in Ferguson and shit, he showed back up on the radar in 2017, one of the Hart children told uh, Ms. DeKal, one of the neighbors, that she is being mistreated by the parents. One of the girls came to the door at 1.30 in the morning and said she needed help and the parents were not treating her properly. And she wanted us to protect her. We ended up getting her back to her parents and then I went over there the next morning just to check on things and everything seemed normal. Uh, duh, they knew they was hot. Yeah, like they didn't did this before. It started out as one time a day and it escalated up to three times a day until a week went by and we decided we need to get professional help. She said she called protective services. Officials arrived just after Jennifer Hart comes home from work, but she does not answer the door. That not answering the door shit is so... Like, how do y'all let them get off with not answering the fucking door? Like, send yeah. a police officer over there then, like, you know what I'm saying? You hear yeah. about kids getting fucked that up. That shit, that shit, like, way, way, what's crazy, that shit, like, way work. Because uh, I had a girlfriend who... Uh, I know it works, just don't answer the door. Yeah, neighbors, uh, neighbor upstairs, he used to beat his girlfriend's ass, dog. Cops come, he had never, they had knocked for two hours. He had never answered the door, they'll leave. Just leave, yeah. They'll leave, that Keep shit fucking crazy. Just keep it silent. Yeah, man. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Then after that, when they blow down and they don't answer the fucking door, guess what? The next day, these motherfuckers drive a fucking car off the fucking cliff going 90 miles per hour, killing all of them motherfuckers, man. Like, God damn. Like, what do it take for y'all to do something? There's fucking them kids. There's, there's, fucking, a, there's, doing there's a lot fucking them kids. kids. And there's probably pill poppers. Uh, uh, you'll probably show the pictures of the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show the pictures. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They, that, that shit... They look at it's the ones that look at you and say something without, racist and be like, what's your problem? They like the black folks for them to uh, adopt people of color, to uh, adopt kids of color. But they... Oh, they, girl, fucking Atomic Blonde be dressing up that little black kid like a girl and shit and dresses and shit. Really? Yeah, these motherfuckers, Charlie Storm. Oh, Charlie Storm. Yeah, but these motherfuckers look like the motherfuckers that do something fucked up in traffic and then won't look at you and shit when yeah. you're like, oh, next yeah. to them and shit. Yeah, you actually make it next to them. You can make yeah. it to the side <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> By no means are they looking at you. So they you can lay like, on your horn, they're not looking at you. So, they definitely fuck. Like, they, they, they shysty as fuck, man. 
Johnny Jim, Johnny Jim. Johnny what, is, what, is, what is he have to say? Yeah, yeah. Listen, my whole thing is who keep giving these white ladies these little brown babies? And, and nice. They gonna keep giving them. Though. That's been for years. That's been. I don't. I don't understand. It's a lot of things in the world I don't understand. Them. Don't say anything about them having them. Their parents should have never gave them away if they weren't busy smoking crack. Yes, yes, and, so and, and crack. robbing stores. <laughs> they always bring they, up they, crack. They're not gonna tell you. Like, that, that's the answer to everything. If you weren't busy smoking, if you crack. would just listen to the police officer. Meanwhile, a white lady at the park just beating the shit out of a police officer. I got that shit. I'm going to put that video right here. She at the park just fighting the shit out of this police officer. Like, he ain't trying to do shit. Cause he probably thinking, like, I can't let the Me Too movement see this video. Fuck the Me Too movement, nigga. Because you say fuck Black Lives Matter, nigga. Yeah. You shoot them motherfuckers immediately. Yeah, man, I got aggressive, man. Shout out to that, to all them little kids that lost their lives senselessly because the system ain't doing the job that these motherfuckers getting paid salaries to do. I, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them kids ain't grabbed a wheel and, and jerked that motherfucker. Because they can't even they find out the three. The car, the three the girls are dead, flying bro. in the car high as hell on pills, talking, speeding, and one of them kids said, fuck it, I hate these motherfuckers. They just grabbed a wheel and... Now, they said three of the, the three of the kids that were missing, that are missing, might have been dropped off to friends. Who knows? Yeah. You, but, you and dad had to pop up. They, they, they dead. They wouldn't be dead. Yeah. We can't even find them. Can't find them nowhere. Unless he dropped them off at that court, like on Grand Theft, where Trevor used to drive motherfuckers off to. Because all them like pictures, all, both of those pictures that I saw looked like a family outing, and that's probably when they used to get touched. Yeah, or had them do stuff to each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? Grab yes. Stick. Yes. That's terrible. Now you just sit there. I'm gonna Lick the little me. man in the boat. Now just sit there. All right. That's the man in the boat. Lick him. I'm out. Of, I'm overweight. Now look. <laughs> yeah. The one girl gained a little weight. Yeah. When she in the grocery store, Be she gained a little. Yes. Yeah, she gained a little. Yeah. Right. Say like I'm allowed to roast her. She did a she, terrible she thing. She went around man. to cheat on her. Man. Shit out of her. She is a terrible thing. Oh my god. So yeah, man, man, we about to get the fuck up out of here, man. Anything y'all want to say before we get the fuck up out of here? It's always a lot to say, but it just seems like we already said it. I mean, next, you know, as far as me. Shout out Marley and me, man. Come get some papers. Hey, yeah, Marley and me, man. I've been staring uh, at a great shirt. Vintage clothing. It's all type, but just walk in this motherfucker. Yeah. Right, you're going to leave out with something. You know what I'm saying? The dressing information will be right fucking here. It'll be right there. Right there. Anything you want to get off before we get the fuck up out of here? Ah. Uh, remember, if it wasn't for the darkness, you'd never see the stars. Yeah, man. Stars is like little planets. Can the Cavs play defense? <laughs> nah, not really, though. It's bad, man. What is Frankie G's real name? James Johnson. Jay, okay. It's a James Johnson that played for the Miami Heat. Hold on, take a seat, man. Oh, I thought it was over. <laughs> Jeez. What the hell is wrong with you? You were saying people's government names and shit? I figured it was done. I got to shoot the five. Hey, my bad. Oh, yeah, I did shoot out your government name, bro. Fuck you, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you all, The crazy thing about it is you probably ain't even watching this shit where you can fucking call me and be like, bro, did you say my government name on that shit? Oh, you don't even say shit, nigga. So he would be all right. <laughs> yeah, the Cavs, man. They go, They should be all right, though. But Philly ain't. Okay. Philly is real, bro. Okay. Okay. The Philly guy named Ben Simmons in town. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a uh, female lion. Face. <laughs> you ever seen Ben Simmons? No. Yeah. No. He looks like no. not like no. him. Oh my like, God. He kind of looks like a. Uh, some type of. He looks like, like a puma. He looks yeah, like a puma. Yeah, a puma. I heard somebody say puma. puma. Yeah, I heard puma. puma. Where you get that from? Puma? What you watch? What you watch? What you watch? Because I seen that same shit where a nigga oh. said puma. <laughs> nigga, I seen him. That's just the funniest way of all I seen a movie that was so terrible, nigga. It was like Eddie Griffin was in a psych war and he thought he was Nigerian or African or some shit. He was using an accent uh, to make a movie and be a hero. That would be terrible. Man. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was it? It was, it was a white movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That would be terrible, though. Yes. It's like yes. going yes. to America. Going, no, no. You talking 
talking it's about, going talking about no, it's called going to America. Oh, I don't know what it means. But nah, before we get up out of here, a few days ago they were celebrating the 50 years since the Martin Luther King got shot. And like, you know, like, you be that be the day where you get to see the hypocrites out here in the world. Because y'all white motherfuckers did not, but I ain't gonna say all of y'all, because all of y'all ain't bad, <laughs> but you know, hey, you know. A lot of y'all motherfuckers was the same motherfuckers throwing tomatoes and rocks and shit at motherfuckers trying to go into school. Y'all hated Martin Luther King. Y'all was sicking dogs on that nigga. Man, some of them got hit with cantaloupes, man. Yeah, all type of shit. What the fuck, man? And then, 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 and then. John McCain, yeah, like, I, I I was just looking out to see if John McCain would tweet anything. He did. Because you know you can't, you son of a bitch, because you one of the motherfuckers that voted against. A Martin Luther King Day even being celebrated down in racist ass Arizona. But see, a nigga like me who do history and research and fact checked on you motherfuckers, no shit like that. The average motherfucker don't keep up with shit like that. Like, why are you watching? Like, so, like, years went by, so you were watching Mel Gibson movie? Yeah, man. What are you doing? The NFL, the owner for the Texans just came out and said, you know, like, I ain't sorry for saying that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nigga, like, yo, 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 keep watching that bullshit, man. There's no telling when the fuck I'm going to watch the NFL. Goodell's going to have to be gone. I don't give a Goodell's gonna have to be going. He ain't even do shit for real. It's the owner's way. I think shit. it's bigger than Goodell. It's way bigger than him. It, that it, motherfucker commissioner to need to flex his money. Look, look, we going too far. We gotta get the fuck up out of here, right, man. Right. Time restrictions. Fuck this is him, my man. fault because I should have did better. Did Manziel get signed? Of this shit. Did Manziel get signed? He Not yet. yet. He's gonna get signed. Probably. Like, when, no, before and before RG3 is coming back, you're not gonna sign Colin Kaepernick. Fuck the NFL. I gotta find some music that be like, woo doo 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 doo. <laughs> that go up like it's on show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, just be music. Yeah. 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 Ye